Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And today's video, I'm going to show you how to increase your refresh rate on your monitor here in Fortnite, guys. I'm going to show you how you can jump from 60 hertz to something like 75 or even above. There are monitors which can even go from 60 to 120 hertz. So therefore, I'm going to explain everything super fast and easy for you to understand. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Real quick guys, I also now have a second channel where I'm going to upload the same boost guides just for different games or just like different games in general. So please make sure to go over right now and subscribe guys. This would mean so much to me and now let's continue with the video. And yeah guys, now I'm going to show you everything you guys need to do in order to successfully overclock your monitor and increase your refresh rate. And what I want you to do pretty much in the first place is now go here actually into your Windows taskbar here on the bottom guys and open up your Nvidia control panel settings, your AMD settings, pretty much like any of these like GPU settings, you know what I'm saying. And then once we're in here, guys we have now here a category which is called change resolution and you can already see i am playing here already on a 240 hertz monitor but i can still explain it because i actually did this myself when i was still playing on a 60 hertz samsung monitor so therefore what i want you to do now guys is pretty much like be here you know in this tab and then we're going to scroll down until we find customize yeah make sure that you select your main resolution here on your pc you know then we're going to click on to customize and we can see like all of the other resolutions which are already like recommended here but we're actually going to make sure that this here is checked enable resolutions not exposed by the display and then create a custom resolution guys and here it comes down now guys to the tricky part because everyone has to like figure out for himself what is like the maximum refresh rate your monitor can handle so you can see you guys you just have your normal pixels you could theoretically already like put in here a stretch resolution let's just say that you don't want to do it for i don't know full hd you can also do it for 1656 times 1080 you know what i'm saying but i'm just gonna leave it here now on 1920 you know because i think like most people are actually playing here on normal native at the moment and then you can see your refresh rate yeah for the rest you're just gonna keep it on automatic guys there's like no need to put it on anything else just simply keep it like that and then you can see your refresh rate and let's just say that you're usually running a 60 hertz panel what are you now going to do guys and this is gonna make sure that you literally can't break your monitor um you're gonna increase it by two every time you're just gonna try out here 62 hertz click on to test if it's successful, you're gonna go on to 64. Real quick guys, I also have a website where you can find my latest low input delay packs or stretch resolutions or even FPS boost packs, also even reviews guys, you can find everything on here. As you can see here on the top, we now have blogs where you can find like all my reviews of my latest mousepad or my G Pro Superlight after one year. Or you're just gonna click onto input delay and see all the input delay tweaks I applied here. I definitely wouldn't recommend you guys to just like straight up go for something like 70 hertz or 75 because that's just simply way too much, you know. You should like slowly build up, I don't know, 68, then you're gonna go onto 70. And I've already seen like on my old uh, Samsung monitor that the maximum I could go there was 74, which is 14 hertz more. I mean, that's not bad for free you know what i'm saying and as we actually click onto it you can see that your screen will just like real quick refresh and then afterwards it's gonna ask you yeah do you really want to have this resolution with 74 hertz where you're gonna press onto yes then and this resolution is gonna get saved on your pc you can see it now here under custom guys we now have 1920 times 1080 at 74 hertz you know we're gonna click onto ok and currently we're still running 240 but we can just like scroll up here a little bit and then we should have here our custom resolution you know 1920 times 1080 on 74 hertz and then you can just simply apply it and you're running 74 hertz instead of 60 and as i mentioned previously Obviously guys you can also create it for like any other custom resolution it doesn't have to be full HD if you're playing on a stretch res like 1440 times 1080 you can create that one as well and I also want to give you like a small extra tip guys the lower you go with your resolution the higher Hertz you actually might achieve that's actually something I realized myself while using a cable which didn't support 144 Hertz on my older 144 Hertz monitor so therefore the lower your resolution is it might be that you actually can get higher Hertz so therefore really try it out for yourself guys experiment around with it a little bit and i hope that this was helpful and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would have made say so much and if you still have any more questions for free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace